So what we want to do is want to play what Austin Rivers had to say. I want you guys to listen to it in its entirety. And I'm going to come back and, and, and get into the show. Take a listen to what he had to say here. Then who do you, you mentioned it once. think has had the biggest influence on the NBA today? If we're talking about today, then Stephen Curry has to be that person. If we're talking historically, it starts and ends with Michael Jordan. I think we're quick to just forget about what he's done for the game. I, it was interesting to hear LeBron on that podcast with JJ talk about most influential and not name MJ, uh, considering... You know, this guy still outsells anybody today in sneaker sales for a reason. Uh, he's the most iconic player to ever play the game. If you, if you don't know this, go watch the Dream Team documentary and you can kind of get an idea of who this guy is and what he did for the game of basketball. So much so that a guy who's the lower and like version under him would be like a Kobe Bryant, right? He's like his little brother. That's a guy who influenced the game. When I look at Devin Booker, he has Be Legendary tattooed on him. I see Jason Tatum have a Kobe Bryant Mamba tattoo on them. We talk about Mamba mentality almost every week. These are guys who change the game. Uh, a lot of two guards emulate their game. Every good two guard we get in the NBA, we compare them to who? A Kobe Bryant, he reminds me of a, a Michael Jordan, of this, this, and that. That's who we compare Ant to, right? These are the guys who also pioneered the game and changed the game and had a huge influence. Now, we talk Stephen Curry, that's an impact, an impact on game in terms of playing style three-pointers being shot. He's the greatest shooter of all time. He and Iverson are guys who are six foot, six foot two. If we're being generous, they're very obtainable to the eye. People look at those guys and say, man, I think I could do that. I think I could be that. If they could do it, I can do it. When you look at LeBron James and you look at Michael, these guys are six, 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 seven, freak of nature athletes, although Iverson was a freak athlete within himself, so I'm doing him a disservice there. But still, these guys, from a height standpoint, I think people saw <clears throat> that they could you know, do these things. I mean, Stephen, I think you'd probably have to agree with me. I know you're a, you're a Michael guy, um, but him and Kobe, for me, are guys who are left out, specifically Kobe. People always leave him out the mix. We always jump to AI because of his culture and him wearing the clothes he wears. And now we see Shea and Westbrook and all these guys do that. By the way, Adam Silver's name should be thrown in there because if David Stern, God bless his soul, was still around, we'd probably be still wearing suits to the game. I'm mm -hmm. not even kidding. So there's a lot that goes to why we're at where we're at now. A lot of names in that hat. But playing style, culture are two different things. You know, Iverson's more of a culture icon. Stephen Curry changed the way teams play. It's a copycat league. First, there was no room for bigs. Now, suddenly, we're seeing bigs. I watched the game the other night. I think it was the uh, uh, Cavs versus the Bulls. There was four centers on the court. So, you know, now that the Nuggets are winning, now we're seeing teams put an emphasis on getting centers again. It's always going to be a copycat league up and down. We are, through, we are in an era where people are too, shooting too many threes. We got too many guys thinking they're Stephen Curry and they're not. There's only one of those. Um, so, you know, he's definitely had an impact on a game. He's definitely up there on that list. I like LeBron throwing stuff on that list, but I, leaving Jordan out and Kobe out for me, uh, doesn't make a lot of sense. Those two guys have to be in the mix. So you heard what he said. Listen, let me get into this here. Let me give you guys my thoughts on this, this one. You know, when I was discussing the most influential NBA players, I mentioned Jordan. I think I mentioned Curry and I for damn sure mentioned Allen Iverson. We had produced a show about Allen Iverson years ago. Um, but I didn't mention Kobe, and I'm a Kobe guy. But now that he's bringing up Kobe, listen, what he said about Kobe Bryant, I already knew. But I didn't want to be a homer. Like, oh, he's my, he's my favorite player, so I'm just going to say him anyway. No, I thought that there were other players that deserved a lot of credit and maybe more in this particular instance. But now that we're talking about Kobe, let's talk about Kobe Bryant's impact. Um, I think Kobe's impact, uh, it's... It's just as profound in certain ways as an Allen Iverson. And I'll give you an example of what I mean. AI affected or impacted, excuse me, uh, basketball in terms of players being able to express themselves, uh, dress the way that they want to dress. AI is the one that brought in corn rolls, the tattoos. At the time he did it, uh, it was something that the NBA uh, was against, right? And they even implemented a dress code for it. So Allen Iverson gave a lot of players the freedom and the autonomy to go out there and kind of just express themselves and be themselves, right? So AI definitely had a big impact, but it's beyond that because AI was a fusion of hip hop and basketball and culture, uh, you know, so he had a very, very big impact. And I think he reached out to a certain segment of basketball fans and really was able to capture the imagination also with his play, with the, with the, you know, with the way he played, the way he looked as a player, with the headband, with the arm sleeve, with his crossover. That's AI, right? And you can see 
uh, uh, you know, um, it kind of permeating throughout the league in various pockets. What impact did Kobe Bryant have on basketball? Well, personally, I think that Kobe is the biggest star uh, in terms of NBA star since uh, Michael Jordan. If I'm being honest with you, I think Kobe was the most popular basketball player since Michael Jordan retired, even with, you know, some of the lows that he experienced. Kobe was a global icon. Uh, and you saw this when he went to go play overseas. It was it was incredible. Like it was incredible. And a lot of the USA players said that they were like they thought they were famous until they went overseas with Kobe Bryant. And then they found out. But why was Kobe famous? I think Kobe was famous and impactful for a number of reasons. Number one, because of his play. Uh, it's very influential for that. Um, you know, a lot of guys wanted to emulate his game, as you heard Austin Rivers point out. Another thing Kobe was, you know, popular for was his mentality and his approach to his work. Kobe was known as a hard worker. And he, you know, that's where the, inf the, the infamous or inf famous or infamous, whatever, blackout sessions would come out. Uh, you know, where Kobe Bryant was arguably the hardest working NBA player ever. Right. And a lot of people learned how to improve their work ethic by being around him. The fact of the matter is LeBron, D Wade, Carmelo Anthony were all good players when they came into the NBA. But when they got with Kobe during the summer, when they were pre prepping for the Olympics, they really saw the difference between where they were and where they needed to be. And that was Kobe. He was the bar. And they realized we're nowhere near on the level of this guy in terms of his work ethic. And the moment they got around Kobe, all of their work ethic changed. Uh, so Kobe influenced a lot of players to be hard workers. Another aspect, and I think his biggest message is uh, the Mamba mentality. And this is what I think puts him above all of these guys, with the exception of Jordan. Of course, you have Curry with the way that the game is played. But I'm talking about Kobe for a second. The Mamba mentality is something that you can participate in without being an NBA player. So he was able to affect people beyond sports. 